Hey, what's up everybody? Dan Slobodin for Strike Athletics. Today I'm gonna to show you how to keep your gloves nice and clean and stink free. All right, so you've got yourself a nice pair of gloves and after six months or nine months or whatever, they start to smell really bad. And I hate to tell you this, but once the sink's in there, it's really hard to get out. I'll give you a couple tips that can help with that, but honestly, the best course of action is prevention. What I mean by that is just don't let your gloves get smelly and gross to begin with. So I'm gonna show you how to do that first and then I'll show you what you can try. It sometimes works, it sometimes doesn't. It depends on how far gone your gloves are, uh, if your gloves are stinking. All right, so the enemy that we wanna deal with is bacteria and sweat. So the first thing you wanna do is use clean hand wraps. If you're putting a bare hand into your glove and then you're training for an hour or two hours or whatever, all that sweat from your hands is gonna go inside the glove. Now there's some gloves that have like these little holes for ventilation and stuff like that, but to be honest, it's not enough. The gloves are gonna soak up a lot of sweat. So wear clean hand wraps. I emphasize clean because if your hand wraps are sweaty and gross, then it's just gonna go into your gloves and then your gloves are gonna get sweaty and gross. So clean hand wraps, that'll soak up most of the sweat in your hands. When you pull your hand out, most of that stuff's gonna come with it. Now you're still gonna have a little bit left behind and I'll show you what I do. So the first thing I do is I use some of this stuff here. It's a uh, Febreze for fabric. This is not auto-focusing, beep, whatever. I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. It's, uh, it's dermatologist tested, so it's on a bunch of chemicals. In fact, the only thing that's in here is water, baking soda, and some alcohol. So it's pretty like, pretty safe for most people, I would say. And all I do from here, I don't spray directly into the gloves. I get a cloth, you can use like a little, you can use like a little chamois cloth like this, or if you don't have one of those around or it's got other stuff on it that you don't want to put in your gloves, a uh, paper towel. So what I do is I take this, I spray it a few times, and I put my fingers on the inside like that, and I just slide it in there, and that wet part there here that I got the Febreze stuff on, so I just get it inside, like nice and deep where my fingers were, and I kind of just work it in there a little bit, and I kind of work my way out. And really that's all it takes is a few seconds. I've had these gloves for a year and a half. I use them pretty much every day and they're they're fine. They're actually starting to fall apart. So I've gotten some new gloves, but they're not, I'm not getting rid of them because they stink. That's the main thing, right? So I'll just do that. And that's really all you need. After that, let them stay open and air out. Now chances are you're probably gonna have to put these back in your gym bag to take them home. If that's the case, you can get yourself some of these. These are called glove dogs. They have like this uh, odor absorbent uh, material inside. It also soaks up some sweat. Just put in one, put the other one in your other glove, put them in your jam bag, and then when you get home, take them out and let it air out. Airing it out is the best thing you can do. If you don't have Febreze, you don't have these things, whatever, just let them air out. As soon as you get air in there, the better off you are. Now let's say your gloves already kind of stink. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. A couple things I've used to some effect, like before it started getting really bad, was using some baby powder. I just put baby powder in my hand and get it in there and just kind of work it in. And that helps bring some of the moisture out, you know, and it helps kind of bring some of the stink out. But it just helps a bit. And if your gloves are really bad to start with, that's not gonna do much. The other thing I heard some people try, and I've tried this myself and a bunch of my students have tried it with varying degrees of success, is putting them in the freezer. The idea with that is that you put it in there and the freezer will kill off the bacteria, but it doesn't really work. It kind of just makes it go dormant. So if your gloves really stink, they're really bad, and you put them in the freezer, you'll take them out and they'll smell better. But as soon as you start using them again, that stink's gonna come back so that, that bacteria becomes active again. So again, the best thing to do is just don't let them get rotten to begin with. All right, I'll put some Amazon links down below so you can check this out. This is super cheap. One of these balls will last you like darn near a year. And I've had these same glove dogs for a couple years now. So it's a really inexpensive way to keep your nice expensive gloves lasting a lot longer. 